Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. Here to answer a question that a viewer has asked me about quad antennas. Quad antennas are usually two element loop antennas, full wavelength loops one of them driven or fed with the feed line. Of course this feed line goes to your radio. It's usually 50 ohm coaxial cable with a ballon coil at the feed point. Normally the feed point impedance of a full wavelength loop like this is about a hundred ohms but when you add a reflector that's what R stands for, DE standing for driven element. When you add a reflector or a director in front of it, reflector goes behind it, director goes in front of it, it lowers the feed point impedance from a purely resistive roughly 100 ohms to about half that or 50 ohms, which is, of course, very good for a coaxial cable that ham radio operators like to use. There are two configurations in common use, the square quad and the diamond shaped quad. In both of these cases the maximum radiation and response occurs more or less out of the page towards us, the reflector being behind the driven element. The feed point is at the bottom of each element and when you do that you always get a current loop at the feed point. Here the maximum current takes place right around the feed point and right around the top. Here right around the feed point and right around the top. In both of these cases you're going to have a polarization that is horizontal and these two antennas in fact if they're the same size, roughly the same dimensions, just one of them rotated 45 degrees say counterclockwise and fed at the corner instead of at the at the bottom in the middle of the square. These are pretty much equivalent in terms of performance and characteristics. Mainly it's just a matter of mechanical preference. Which type of structure is easier for the ham radio operator to use and I'm supposing a, a, a frequency of say 28 megahertz or 10 meters. That would make this loop just about 10 meters in circumference, both of them. Uh, 10 meters being about 33 feet in circumference. Uh, 14 megahertz, you double that figure and it gets pretty large. There are a variety of ways of supporting uh, quad antennas like this. A variety of structures usually made out of either bamboo or fiberglass, sometimes plastic. And uh, But the, the basic idea is to have a rotatable directional, unidirectional array going from the reflector through the driven element and towards us out of the page in these cases or from the driven element through a director uh, which would be in front of the driven element again coming out of the page at us. Th those are the two basic types of quad antenna configuration and they are for all intents and purposes equivalent in terms of performance. Stan Gibalisco W1GV saying 73 for now and so long which in my native fist translates to de de da de da, da, da.